Hey guys, Techie here. Another 3D print update video thingy. Today, I'm gonna show off Old Bluey, or Blue... Bluebeak, or Recolor Laserbeak. Um, and also just go on about the updates as to my, um, project on eventually 3D printing my own transformer, which does link into eventually 3D printing Jetstream. So, that is still on the books, it's just... You gotta realize that a lot of this takes time, that I have to develop the knowledge on how to do this. Like, you know, there's professionals in a factory who, who you know, design transformers, you know, I'm, I'm one guy. But, that's why we learn. So, first off, let's just show off some 3D prints with Laserbeak. Here, I actually did Laserbeak in three colors, and you can see here the three parts being um, printed out. Um, the grey parts, the blue parts, and the copper parts, because I did not have black, red, or silver filament. Which means that I have my own version of Laserbeak, and, um, yeah, the... The guy said that, on the, on his site, that this was meant to be life-size? Uh, it really isn't. Like, the tape itself is as big as... I think like an old videotape even, like maybe a bit smaller than that. Like, it's big, but it's... I think he meant life-size as in Laserbeak can actually sit on your arm. Which is really cool. Like, don't get me wrong, I think that's really awesome. It's just one of those... He was way bigger than I expected. Um, I should have really checked the measurements of that before um, printing, but hey. It is what it is, and I now have a big-ass Laserbeak. I'm happy with that, and he does actually transform. He's actually based off a simplified laser beak that someone else made for their four-year-old kid. So, you know, the guy sized it up and remixed some parts of it. Now, as you might be able to see with the copper parts, there was a bit of a failure there. Um, hence why my laser beak doesn't have any guns. Um, and I don't really have enough copper filament to reprint the guns, so... A little awkward there, but either way. Um, now on to the other part of the video, the update. Now, I was checking about Thingiverse for, like, Transformers stuff, because, you know, I found the laser beak and I thought I'd look around again, and I came across this, um, print here. This, um, cute Transformer jet. And I even showed Jetstream, and she remarked that it really didn't look that good, but the um, female um, form actually looked pretty good. It's just the transformed form was a bit silly. Now, what I like to do when I see a model that catches my interest but I don't quite want to print it, I will actually go and check out the person's um, Thingiverse page to see if they've done other similar models, maybe, because this was made in 2015. Which got me to this guy's page, and to be fair, he's not really done much other than a few things, but I noticed he started doing these um, skins and armors for something called a Modibot. Even one based on the cross, which, you know, if you know um, Robotech or Macross or Macross Plus or whatever series, they have um, mecha that transform into jets. So I was like, okay, what's this Modi bot and how could he make a Macross armor that, well, it does transform into a jet. Not a great jet, it does look like it's a bit of a parts former, but it's still like, what is this Modi bot? And that's where I found this thing. It's, this is called a Modi bot and apparently the guy made it as a 3D printable model that you could make all these parts for, but it's completely ball jointed. And he's made it real cheap, like apparently he even had a Kickstarter or, and such. Um, I'm surprised this doesn't have more of a following, because, you know, the figurine, the Modibot itself is $10. But I did my more research and found that the guy actually has a Thingiverse page where he makes the um, Modibot figure freely available. You can download the files and print this out yourself. You, like, um, 
Like, I, I think this is amazing. So, here I have now a figurine that, you know, has ball joints and, you know, studs for putting new parts in and, you know, all these different accessories for. I think, guys, I found my base for my Jetstream model. Because, you know, I don't want to just print out a statue of Jetstream. I actually want a, you know, usable model. Something that can be posed. Something that can be shown off. And with my own Transformers project, I want to strive to do a Transformer that you won't get in a shop. With all the different joints and all the expensive parts and all that. And this Bodybot, I think, is the perfect starting point. Maybe first off, I'll do my do a Jetstream um, body armor for it to make it look like Jetstream. Maybe um, I don't know yet. Uh, I mean, this is amazing, and honestly, this guy, um, Kid Meccano, seriously, follow him on Thingiverse. Um, look at his stuff, Modibot. I'll put links below. So anyway, enough gushing from me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's sounding more more and more awkward as I go. Um, so that's my update on 3D printing stuff. Like, I did do other things this week, but I kind of wanted to keep this video, one, short, and two, focus purely on the Transformers stuff, because I know that's the stuff you guys are interested in. As said, comment below if there's other 3D prints that you want me to do, um, maybe show off, or... Even if you want me to maybe do some standalone videos all about preparing 3D prints or some of the stuff I've learned, just let me know because I want to share this. This is really amazing stuff, guys. Like, you don't even need a 3D printer to appreciate this stuff. You could download the 3D files and just look at them. See a completed 3D model and tinker around with it. Like, uh, ah, it's so amazing. So... Anyway, I've been Techie, you've been fantastic. Remember, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I will see you next time.